Good evening everyone, this is Broomster and today I'm coming to you with the next puzzle in the Sudoku U series, which is a series of puzzles being created by the students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards in their Puzzles and Paradoxes class. This puzzle is Chalice by Preston. Again, I don't know if I've done a Preston puzzle before, I don't think I have. So this one is possibly one of their new students. Um, Looking, for, I'm, I'm enjoying this series a lot. They've all been slightly easier puzzles, which is great for me and always good fun to have puzzles, which I consider to be coffee break puzzles. So a puzzle that you can do in a coffee break because um, I often have to record them on, during a coffee break. Um, at least I have recently. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun. Um, so thank you, Preston, for submitting. Thank you, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards for running what I think is just a wonderful class. Um, let's have a look at the puzzle, shall we? Chalice by Preston. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine have to be placed without repetition. Uh, we have cells that are a king's move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. So we have a rule that I'm going to forget almost immediately. So what that means is any cell um, if we were to highlight this cell in blue, whatever digit blue is cannot go into any of those cells because any of those cells would be, if this grid was a slightly larger chessboard, the king could move to any of these. So normally it couldn't be in those by normal Sudoku rules because they're repeated in the same box, row or column. But these cells would also be prohibited because a king could jump to those. So basically it's often called untouched Sudoku. Any cell that touches um, a, a cell um, means cannot contain the same digit. So this cell touches all of those, those could not contain the same digit. This cell touches all of those, so none of those could contain the digit that's there. So that's how anti-king or untouch works. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bob to the tip. So this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this. And that is true with even for digits that change boxes. So this digit is going to be at least two higher than that because it must strictly increase along the thermo. They cannot stay the same, they cannot go down. Um, so these two digits, even though they do not see each other, these could not be the same digit. Um, this must be higher than this because it goes up from the thermo, like mercury rising. Um, that's the way it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, the first thing I was looking for, because this is an anti-king Sudoku, is for digits that are on the edge of a box. And this two knocks two out of all of those. And I can't put two in any of those, because if I put a two even as far down this thermo as I can, this would be two, one, and that'd have to be zero. So two is in one of those. I don't know what that's done for me, but it is true. I kind of want to pencil mark this whole thermo because this has a maximum of nine, maximum of eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So this is one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Has that done anything for me? Probably not. Um, it's very tempting to pencil mark all of these. All of, well, this isn't three. And if that's not three, this is not four, this is not five, this is not six, and this is not seven. So that's done some elimination. This interacting, this is only five cells long. It looks longer, but it's only five cells long. Hmm. It's going to be some weird interaction like this. Like where this cell is one of those two because this cannot repeat in its column, cannot repeat in its thermo, because the thermo all has to be higher, and by king's move, it can't be there. So it is one of those two. Similarly, this cell is either that or one of those two, because it can't repeat on its own thermo, so it can't be one of those two, and it can't repeat in its own row, and it can't be there by king's move. So it's one of those so I am going to pencil mark this thermo. Maximum 9, maximum 8, maximum 7, maximum 6, maximum 5. So 1, 2, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is getting terrible, isn't it? 4, 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7, 8. And 6, 7, 8, 9. And that was because this couldn't be 3. So it had to be 4 and that pushed all of these up. This digit, 
actually this digit. Oh, it, all I know is this is four, five, or six, seven, because it can't be either of those because it sees them by, uh, uh, no, it's one of the, mm, I'm not sure. This digit though, can't be on its own thermo. Can't be one of those. So it's one of those three. But it can't be that one because this is six, seven, eight, or nine. And that can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. So that digit there, I'm probably looking at this wrong, is one of those two. If it's that one, it's six. This would be five, four. This would be, f hang on. If this is six, this is five, four, and this would be four. I'm definitely missing something. I'm also concerned about high digits in this column and low digits in this column because two is not those. Three... I'm definitely missing something here. I say that every video. This is not any of those, not either of those, not that, but it could be five or it goes there. These are under pressure for this cell, but I can't see what it's doing. This cell is not any of those or any of those. Like I can tell the three is in one of these. If this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, can I eliminate that? Not that I can see. I haven't done one of these in so long that I'm... These four digits all see each other. So this is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. Because if this is six, none of those can be six. If this is seven, none of those can be seven. So if this is seven, eight, nine, this is six. That's interesting. Those four digits are a quadruple. So nine is in one of those two, but I don't have the same quadruple here. That cell sees all four of those. So this can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. Though that just tells me it's one, two, three, four, or five which is fascinating because it sees all of those in the row and that one in the box. And this is a quadruple. This was not three, by the way, but that doesn't... This is a quadruple. If this is six, this is a seven, eight, nine, triple. If this is seven, this is, hang on. If this is a six, yeah, this is just a seven, eight, nine, triple. Five, four, th five, four. If this is a six, six, five, four. There's no six, five, this becomes a two, this becomes a one. So if this is a six, this is a one. If this is a seven, this becomes eight, nine. This becomes six, five, four, two, one. This is one no matter what. 
So if this is a, if this was a six, five, four, if this was a six, five, four, this becomes two because this is six, five, four, and this is one. If this is a seven, however, this is six, five, four, two, one. So this was always a one. There's no one there, there's no two there. And now this is a one. Three is up here, and it's not here. So three is on this. This is now a one by Sudoku. So it's not blue. This is blue, and the only thing that it can be is six. So this is seven, eight, and nine. That's fascinating. I have no idea if that's the way I'm supposed to have solved this. Six and seven come out of there. In fact, this is six. So this is five, four, and two. This is the four, and these are an eight, nine pair. The four makes this three and two, and the digit that I'm missing in the top row is five. Five is in one of those two. In fact, this is a two five pair because I haven't put two and five in the row and I can't put them over here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. And these are three, four, and seven. That's fascinating. Now I know exactly what these digits are. Because it's one, I have to put a two on the, because these are just the leftover digits in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Okay, there's still more tricks to unravel here, I'm sure. Well, there is, because I don't see where to continue. Is it here? Because this is the longest thermo. One can't be in those. So one is in one of these, which means one is in one of these. One can't be here, which means one is in one of these, which means one is in one of these two. Three is in one of these. This is not feeling particularly gripping. This can't be a nine. So nine isn't in any of those or any of those. Nine is in one of those two, which means nine is in one of those two because I can't put nine not at the end of a thermo. Eight. I can put eight at the end of that thermo though. Because eight, well, eight can't go there or there or there. So eight is in one of those three. I think I'm looking at the wrong thing. But I feel it is this side which is going to give me the problem. So this is a maximum of eight. Whoops, no, maximum of eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum four, maximum three. Yeah, there's one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. This has not been that helpful. Five is in one of those two, because that five is knocking five out of those. One isn't restricted. Three, four is in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two. So this, this central stack is more restricted, but I'm not quite seeing it. Like, I know that that cell is one of those two. 
So it's not two, because I can't put two there. This is not two. This is one or three. Because if this was a two, where do I put two in this box? There's nowhere to put it. So this is one or three. So there's a one or a three down here. If this is a three, this is a three. And that would put three in one of those two. Okay. It's good. I'm wondering, I don't know if I'm missing geometry or something more basic. Because this is the only thing that's crossing boxes now. That cell is one of those two. That cell is one of those. I haven't solved a king's move in a while. Am I missing a king's move trick I've forgotten about? Nine is not down here or in any of those. So nine is in one of those two. Nine in... No. I was going to say nine in this column, but nine in this column can be one of three places. Eight in this box. It's not on this thermo. This isn't nine or eight. It can't be nine. Why? It can't be nine because nine in this column has to be here because it can't be there. So this can't be nine or eight. This is maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five. No, maximum four. Because this C is a 5, this is maximum 3. So this is 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, it can't be, oh, actually this wasn't even maximum 6, this was maximum 5. Which still allows this to be maximum 4. 3, 4, 5, 4, 6, 7, this is only 4 or 7. Because it can't be 6 and it can't be 5. This is a one, two, three, four quadruple now. So this is a five, which means this is a seven. I should have seen that earlier. So one, two, three, four, five. There's no one here because these are one, two, three, four. Four is in one of those two and it's not there. That's not the four. So this is the four. So this isn't three or four, this isn't four or five, this isn't five or six. So these are one, two, three, four, five. These are six, eight, and nine. There's no nine there. Let's put five in one of those two. <laughs> oh, this can't be three, because if that was three, that would eliminate three from all of those. So this is not three. This is a one or a two, which I could have got as soon as I got that down to three anyway. Why am I using King's Move to do stuff that was basic anyway? Um... This is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. So this is a five. So this is a two. So this is a five. This is a three. There's no three there. This seven makes that the four and that the seven. That puts four in one of those two because I can't, it's down here by Sudoku, but the four knocks it out of there.
Now we know nine is up here. Seven must be down here. Very, very cool. I'm wondering, because of this now, I'm wondering whether this thermo is under more restriction than I think. Because this is 987. This could still be 6, I think. Because if it couldn't be, this would be a 1, 3, and I'd have a 1, 3 pair. But I think this can be 6. Go maximum 9, maximum 8, maximum 7, maximum 6. Now, this can't, it can be 1. It, sorry, it can be 1. It can't be 2. It could be 3. It can't be 4 or 5. It can be 6. But that prevents me from having the 1, 3 pair that I think would be powerful. Because this one eliminates one from all of those. So I know one is down here. And if this was a 1-3 pair, it would put one in one of those two. If this is six, seven, eight, nine, this is six, that's four, this would be one, two, which would mean that's at least a four. That's a bit of a chain. One, three, six, this is lots of stuff. Two, can't be three, can't be four, can't be five. Could be six. Oh, it's only two, six, or se oh, it can't be seven. Oh, right. This can't be seven. So this can't be six because it can't be seven. So this is a one, three pair. And this has a maximum of six. This then has, because it has to be lower than six and it can't be five or four, I had a maximum of three. Right. So this is two or six. This is a one or a three. So nine eight six one three. Now this has to be higher. Two can't be, uh, two can't be three. Can't be four five. This is two six. This is can't be three four. Can't be five. Can be six. Can be seven. And this can't be five six seven eight nine. Right. But the one three pair here means that these are from two, six, eight, and nine. Well, there's no two in either of those, so two is in one of those two. Which means that can't be a two. Or So this has now been pushed up, because two has to be one of those two, and they both see that cell. So that can't be a two. Well, it couldn't have been anyway. So this can't be one, two, or three. Minimum here is four. Right, and this cell can't be a nine. So maximum eight, max, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum four. This is a four, because it couldn't be a maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six. This couldn't be a five. So the maximum was four, and the minimum was four. Once I got those twos, well, because this couldn't be three, two, or one. It's been there for ages. This is now six. This is now seven. This is now eight. There's no eight or six here. The 6, 8 looks up making this 9. That's what I missed earlier. I missed that earlier. This 6, 8 means this can't be 6 or 8 because it would eliminate it from both of those. This is 7 or 9. The 4 looks up making that 7 and that 4, which takes 4 out of there. That's what I missed. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do? 4, 7. Hang on. I did that. That's 7. That's 4, which takes 4 out of there. Made a huge. I don't know what I did there. Four is now in. Four is now right there. So this is a two because of the nine. Did I have that from the beginning? Have I just been completely blind? This is six. So this can't be a seven because there's nothing between it. So this is the nine. This is the eight. This is the seven. This is the six. I feel like I'm fumbling like mad. This is now a one, two pair. This is not the nine. This is the nine. And this is one, two, three, four, five, which means this is the five. 
The seven looks over making this the six, and these, are, well, there's no nine there, so this is the nine. These are one and four, and the four can only go there, so this is the one. The eight makes that the seven, makes that the eight, that the two, and that becomes the three. This isn't the four anymore because of that four, so this is the four. The two looks back, making this the one and this the two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was just looking in the wrong place. I should have been looking here earlier. This is one and three. This six means this is not six. I could have used that six as well. This nine means this is not nine. This one means that's the three and that's the one. This column is missing one, two, three, four, five. So this is not the five. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, and eight. So those are one, three, and eight. And this six makes that the eight, which makes that the nine, which looks like making that the eight and that the nine. This two looks up making that the one, so that's the three and that's the two. The eight looks up making that the six, and I take six out of both of those. This is an eight, nine. The nine looks back making that the eight and that the nine. People may not know this about me. I suffer from seizures, um, and I often cancel a video when I'm coming into a seizure, but I'm so close to the end. My hands are shaking. Um, so, yeah, I'm having to deal with the fact that I'm aware that I'm coming into a seizure. This eight um, mean, takes eight out of there. This is going to be an eight. So the one makes this a three and makes this a one. And now I'm down to the final box. I need to put a one in it. Um, that one means it's there. Um, seven is in one of those two. That seven eliminates that. That becomes the seven. I need to put a three in this box, but I can't put it there. So that's the three. One, two, three, four, five. This is a six, and that is the correct solution to the puzzle. Sorry that it took me so long to solve that one, Preston. Um, that was very, very cool. It took a while to find those interactions. It may be that I'm coming into a seizure. I don't know, but I am going to end this video quicker than I normally do. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.